Welcome back, friends. Today is Friday, and you know we always do an activity on Friday. So since it's Hanukkah, and you know Hanukkah is eight days long, it started on Sunday, and here we are Friday, still going strong, I thought that since we read the book, Meet the Latkes, we would make latkes. Now you're gonna need a few ingredients, which I'm gonna show you here, and then we're gonna get started. So the first thing is hit that like button, that thumbs up, press it now. Come on, press it. Good, thank you. And if you're not already a subscriber, please, continue, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as a member of our family. Um, okay, so we're gonna need potatoes. For this recipe, we're gonna use five peeled potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse these and then I'm gonna peel them. You always wanna rinse before you peel because if you peel, and it's dirty, all that dirt's gonna get into your, you don't wanna eat that. Mm -mm. You're gonna need a small onion. I don't have a small onion, I have a pretty large one. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just use like half of this. You're also going to need a couple of eggs. Got my eggs. And you are going to need a teaspoon of salt. You are going to need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And you're going to need something called matzah meal. Sometimes you can find it gluten-free. I ran out of my gluten-free. So uh, this is just regular matzah meal, which is fine. Uh, you're gonna need two tablespoons of matzah meal. And then of course you're gonna need a whole load of oil for frying in. Now, as you know, they're like hash browns. They're fried in oil because the story of Hanukkah is that when they destroyed the temple, there was only enough oil in the canister to light the candelabra or the menorah for one night, but it ended up lasting for eight days, eight nights. So everything gets fried in oil for, <laughs> for Hanukkah. So I have my big jug here and we are gonna be ready to go in just a moment. Follow me. So now that we've peeled the potatoes and we've peeled the onion, in a minute we're gonna use the food processor. Now you can use an actual grater. Unfortunately, ours broke several years back. So we use one of these. <laughs> but in the meantime, what you can do is get a bowl and start making a mixture of the salt, the pepper, and the matzo meal. Okay, so I have my bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two tablespoons of the matzo meal. You wanna make sure that your tablespoons are leveled. Tablespoon is the big spoon, the mama of all spoons, right? All right, so I'm not gonna have this heaping spoonful. No, I'm gonna level it out, okay? and I'm gonna put it in. I need how many? That's right, two. So that was one. We're gonna do another one. Let's level that out. Beauteous. And put that in. Now we have two. Okay, next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a teaspoon of salt. Okay. So I have my teaspoon, that's a little bit smaller and my salt. You're watching me? I hope you're joining along too. I hope you have your ingredients and you're making this as well. I know you're gonna love this. It's great for dinner, for snacks, for breakfast with your eggs. It's amazing anytime. Okay, there's my taste, uh, teaspoon of salt. And then we need the quarter teaspoon of pepper. Ugh. Peppa. All right, I'm gonna do this over the sink just in case too much comes out because you never wanna to put too much pepper into, okay. A little bit less than that. All righty, boing. Now I'm gonna stir these together. I'm just gonna use the spoon I had, just kind of give it a mix mix. So all our ingredients are evenly mixed together. 
Now what I'm going to do is, remember I had two eggs in a separate bowl. I'm going to break these into it and then beat them up. Pow! It's not that kind of beating, beating with a fork. But still it's fun. All right. Have you ever cracked an egg before? You tap it on the edge of the bowl, then you stick your two thumbs into the crack and you pull them apart. It's kind of satisfying. I like to do that. And of course, make sure that you dispose of the shells. You never want to eat the shells. All right, I tapped. I'm sticking my fingers in and I'm pulling it apart and plop, in it goes. All right, great job. I'm just gonna give my fingers a little rinse here. Okay. And I'm going to take my fork. I'm going to tap the yolks in there. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go in a circular motion. Okay, and I'm gonna do it really fast. I'm gonna beat these eggs up to a pulp. Oh yeah, good stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the camera over here to show you. There's a good view right there. All right, let's get whizzing with our food processor. We're gonna do both the potatoes and the onions. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the food processor. Here we go. So now that my onions and my potatoes are made, I'm just going to give it a stir because I already had the um, matzo meal and the pepper and the salt in here. I want to mix it so it goes all the way through. We want to get all that goodness throughout the whole thing. So that way you don't have a lump of all onion or a lump of all matzo meal. It's throughout the whole so every bite gets that great flavor. And of course, we beat our eggs. We need to put that in there too. together. These are going to be yummy. Now I have my pan heating over a flame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a bunch of oil in there. I'd say about a quarter of an inch of oil. You need to, it's not just a coating. You're not just pan frying this. You're really frying in the oil. And then you will watch over it until it gets golden brown. And you see it getting crusty, crispy, uh, crusty, <laughs> crispy, and then you'll give it a flip. And once it gets crispy on the other side, you carefully remove it, let it dry on some paper towels, and let it, you can eat it. Mm -hmm. And you know how I like to eat mine? I like to put some applesauce or some sour cream on it. They're yummy for dipping in both of those. So if you like applesauce or if you like sour cream, or if you like both, like me, you could do one of each great way. I'll see you over there. Okay, so I'm going to slowly pour the oil in. My pan is already hot. See, I'm coating it and going a little above and beyond. All right. Oops. Give you a little bit more light there. All right. Now these aren't gonna be very big. You're not gonna make, it's not gonna be like a huge pancake. They're gonna be small. Kind of like you, if you were making silver dollar pancakes maybe, maybe a little bigger than that. I'm gonna make sure that this is all coated. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some in. All right, here we go. 
You hear that sizzling? That means your pan's hot, so be careful. You're gonna need adult supervision on this one. And just kind of tap them down a little bit so they're flat. Because if they're too thick, they won't cook through and you want them to be cooked through. I think I made that one a little too big. too big too. Let me move this guy over. And now we wait. So every once in a while you're just going to kind of put your spatula under there and loosen them up because they will start to stick a little bit to the bottom of the pan which is you don't want. So now what I'm going to do is before I flip, I want to be careful not to splatter myself because boiling oil is not a good combination with your skin. So <laughs> I'm going to get my glove on before I flip. And I do this very gently. Oops. There we go. See, it splatters a little, so you want to stand back from it. There we go, nice and golden brown. And once it gets brown on the other side, we'll put it on some paper towels to dry. So, I wanted to show you some of the finished ones. They're, they're drying on the paper towels to get the oil to come out so you don't, you know, ingest all that oil. And then I'm gonna put a little applesauce, a little sour cream, not together. One will have applesauce, one will have sour cream. I can't decide. I love them both. Let me know in the comments if you've ever made latkes and if you haven't, if you've tried this recipe and what you thought of it. Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate. Please share, like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Come on, we can use you in our kids stories and more family. We'll see you next week for our read aloud on Monday. Bye-bye.